good morning and welcome to Vandy Treasure Hunters. As we begin our first dollar to five dollar yard sale, we've already had it's only 7 30 in the morning and we've already had our first customer. Everything here. Is dollar to five dollars each. They're all everything we has been found in storage units. There are some some personal things here, so that are not for sale. But however, everything else is for sale. Now, just to see how fast they start digging. We're not ready. We don't open the yard sale till eight o'clock. And I already got some people calling and saying they're going to be here at 8 o'clock. So I wanted to get some videos before it all started and show you how it's set up. This is what you get when you buy storage units. You get a lot of odds and ends that people need. They need the stuff for themselves and it's just too expensive for them to go to the stores and buy it. So this is what you can do for people that are in need of things. We were doing this just so that people can afford things that they need and would like to have, but yet can't afford it at a name brand store and whatnot. So this is what we've got it's a lot of stuff and we'll see how it goes there will be more shortly thank you well it's 12 30 on the first day of the yard sale and so far things seem to be moving i mean if you want to get a dollar stuff for a dollar or five dollars then it's a good place to do it and people are taking advantage of that and that's a good thing that's what we want now our clothes rack it didn't make it through it fell apart but that's okay Chrissy I told you it fell for you now it's all down for me <laughs> it's in pieces but we loved it it did the job to start with and we'll keep her going now this is going to be a all-day deal and then next weekend we'll, like i said we will have new stuff because of our three units we got in yesterday and we'll pick them up on monday and see what else we have um, we do like our like to help cook people out and this is definitely a way to help people out. And there's Becky there. And my grandson, Michael. They're talking to a customer. Rather than doing storage and buying stuff, we do cleanouts for free. So we do we do spend like some money getting So as you see a lot of the stuff has gone. And some I thought would be gone by now is that sewing machine, but it's still there. So this is what you can do to help people out. There's a lot of people in need that can't afford in today's economy. And this is the kind of good stuff you can do for people. 